Okay, this is a video of another ATX breakout board module that I found, and uh, I'm going to try it out. So anyway, I got it hooked up here, and uh, you just plug it right into the uh, computer power supply, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here is the cord for the computer power supply, so I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Okay, so this one has an on-off switch. And uh, so I turn on the on switch and interesting. Okay. So this green light comes on It's saying it's sending power to the, to the outputs and there's a red led that lights up. Now this is an interesting one because it's got all of the uh, voltage rails on one side of the board. That's really convenient. And then for each rail, it's got a separate fuse. So we got uh, three volts, it's 3.3 volts and we got five volts then we got uh, 12 volts and then uh, after that we've we've got uh, a negative 12 volts so um, I don't think anybody's ever going to use a negative 12 volts but anyway the main voltage is 3.3 5 volt and 12 volt so I got it hooked up to the 5 volt rail so um, I'm going to test the uh, output with the multimeter and I'm going to see if uh, yeah, we get five volts. All right, so I'm gonna. This is the um, uh, DC uh, power plug, and then uh, I got the uh, positive going on the center post, and I got the negative going on the uh, the metal on the outer part. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see. I got to get a good better contact. Okay, there it is, 5.06, 5.07. The same power supply I used in a different video. Okay, so we're getting it, getting the power. So, uh, there it is. Uh, you can use this computer power supply for uh, any GAN setup you want to hook. You can hook up... Uh, the idea with the using a computer power supply is it's got so much power you can drive every one of your um, GANs jobs from one single location. You just uh, distribute this to, to the different batches. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.